I'm currently on my way to go pick up a new part for the IS300 and let's just say it is authentic and OEM so it's gonna be really sick and it's from uh, Japan so it's JDM as fuck is it really rare though or is it just really expensive to well get? I'm gonna go get it and then I'll show you guys what it is either tonight or when we install it and I'll give you guys more details about it but let's go pull out some monies and um, go pick that shit up Yeah. Hey, what do I pull up? Uh, is that parking out front? No, I see your FRS though. I mean, A86, my bad. Sure, you even set it on the second time, G. Sick ass food, the BRZ? <laughs> you know what, there's one right here. I'm gonna try to fit Across in. the street, huh? Yeah. All right, for sure, I'll be out there right now. All right, G, all right. He is one of my coworkers. He does have the same car as me. All right, lock the door, hurry, hurry, hurry. What did we just see? Oh, <laughs> that was no. so scary, dude. Fuck. We leave at my buddy's house. I wanted to record in there. He, kinda, he said he had a mess in his in his um, garage, and I kind of didn't want to like you know make him uncomfortable. I'm not gonna show you guys what I picked up. We were leaving his house, and there's like a lady just staring at us, like literally like right next to his house, and we didn't know who it was. Maybe like a relative or something. And like we were literally walking like probably like a hundred feet away and we turn around she's still fucking staring right in the same spot but I'll see you guys three days and for you guys a second should we just be honest with them about how many times we've messed up no how and, many times you messed up because you're like, oh, just gonna be perfect and like, bro. And like how I'm already done with my talk before we even start the video. I'm just trying to eat cereal because I, I didn't breakfast yet. For all the cinematic edits, yeah, that's my ideas. This feels like, oh, okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be installing the thing I purchased for the IS300 a couple days ago. Stephanie knows how to drive an automatic. Stephanie knows how to drive an automatic? Easy! Let off the clutch a little bit. I guess we could leave it right here. That would be a perfect spot. Hey, we haven't even told them what we're installing. I can't even sh look at you right now. But don't look at me. <laughs> I think that was perfect. I don't think I got it still. For those who watched the reveal video, you guys know I am going to be going very JDM on this build. The first thing, obviously, is to um, remove all the Lexus badges everywhere. So the rear, since the car was repainted, does not have any badges except for the front grille. And I was planning on cheaping out when it came to this portion of the car just because the authentic part was so expensive. My buddy luckily had one from work. I said, fuck it, I'll spend $150 on a grill. Sick ass fool. So this All is what right. Danny got. So what do we get, sir? Since um, you know everything about IS 300. You got an Alteza grill, and they're only uh, European or some shit like that, right? <laughs> Whatever it is. I think you already fucked up, bro. The Alteza model was literally available everywhere else but the United States, and in other countries they came with the 3GS, which is a beams motor, and it's actually really good. It makes just as much power as this 2JZ with a four-cylinder, and a lot of people do actually want to swap that beams motor into an IS300, but since it already has a 2JZ, most people would just honestly rather boost this one than doing all that work just for an engine that has less cylinders. This grill is actually an authentic Japanese grill from Japan. It's not an eBay one. You can also tell from right here, it does have the Toyota emblem. And obviously that can all be replicated, but if you look at the ones from eBay, they are ABS plastic and they're not as nice. All the authentic ones are around like $300 and that's because obviously they're a lot rarer. And over here, people don't want to spend that much money and I didn't want to spend that much money. But my buddy did have one, like I said, and I only spent $150. And yeah, it's not in perfect condition, but it's way more valuable to me. It's kind of like the bright seat on my E30. It's things like that that just hold value. Reps all day, dog. <laughs> what did you order last night? Real wheels. A lot of people have been telling me to actually remove the whole bumper to replace the grill because these little side brackets that are underneath the bumper, which you can see right here, these tend to break. And this one's good, but if you look on this side, it looks like this one actually broke off. I don't know how they put it back together. They Super did it really cool. well. We're gonna try removing it without trying to break anything. And if worst comes to worst, we might have to pull the bumper off. I'm not pulling the bumper off. 
Hey, dog, you wanted the whole shirt. What are you doing? That's rude. I'm yeah, sorry. That is I'm sorry. Hold this. Oh, do I hold this? What the hell? Why would you do that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Honestly, that's yeah. pretty cool. Do I get a new shirt though or not? Nah? Yeah, you got one. I got okay, you. I respect you. Jeremiah actually made a hole at work because he shouldn't be wearing stuff like this. How am I supposed to support you then? Oh, you're fucking right, bro. Never mind. It just looks way better than this one. I, I hate this design. Oh, it's a very... It's, it's a cleaner the, design. Yeah. Oh, it's Japanese. It broke. That one, the old one, did I fucking told you. No, <laughs> it was already broken. Lies. See? It was like that, See? though. Told you. Like, once you clean that up, I'm like, wow. Yeah, I do, I do need to clean that one up, but... But it's not in bad shape. That's, no, it looks really clean. If I break it, I'm sorry. Don't break it. Okay, okay. I thought you were holding that side, Daniel. What did I tell you? One hundred and fifty dollars. Hey, look at that. Look at that. One hundred and fifty dollars. Was it broken? Drain. Was You're that one broken? Person. Look at that one. Look at this one. Not broken. This one was already broken. That one already broke. I'll give him that. Okay, that shit was already go. broken. So go, it probably wasn't glued, right? Go get glue. <laughs> get glue. That shit lost like a hundred dollars worth of value. I should have just bought the replica one at this point. That was a side that was actually broken off anyways and re-glued. It's obviously not that big of a deal. We'll just glue it back on, but it looks pretty nice. It actually does look really good. It looks way better than the OEM one. Oh wait, they're both OEM. All right, we can't show you what brand this is because we're not sponsored. I feel like what I need to do next is replace all four lights. The actual headlights and the fog lights. I want to stick to the chrome ones and just get new ones, but Stephanie wants me to black them out. I just don't know. I feel like if I'm going to get the chrome grill, I have to get clear headlights. We were actually able to push out two videos this week. We did talk about in the last video why we haven't been pushing out two videos a week lately just because of the time change and the way it's affecting our channel with our schedule. And because of that, we didn't have too much planned today, Veterans Day. So for all you peoples in the military, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for protecting our country and the earth. We didn't really have much planned except for the grill that we were gonna install. And we also needed to talk to you guys about something that we've actually been pretty quiet about. And we didn't really tell anyone. We've told very mm. close people. It was about us getting an actual shop. Despite us actually telling you guys that we wanna get one and we want you guys you know, to buy our merch to support us so we can continue growing. We were actually so close to getting an actual, I believe like 1200 square feet shop. And it was really nice in the perfect area. And that was back before I got the IS300. Obviously my mentality and the things and my, and my priorities were completely different. I feel like it's right to tell you guys what happened and why we didn't end up getting it. Since the E46 was pretty much done in my eyes, the E30 was the only thing I had to go full send on and I did want to swap the engine relatively soon. And that was my obviously main focus. It was getting to a point where I felt like we needed to get a shop to do some crazier things like engine swaps, fabricating, painting, do a bunch of things that we can do that we normally can't do in a driveway because obviously laws, we can't do that. We're gonna get in trouble. So we started looking. We found one that was really close to us here in Oxnard and didn't really look that clean of an area. So we started looking in Ventura, found one really clean in Ventura. That was the one that we actually got the most information on. We actually applied for it. And we obviously together, we made more than enough to be able to get it. So obviously that wasn't even in our minds that we weren't gonna get the shop. So we talked to the agent for about like two weeks straight, filled out all the application, paid the application fee, and we were just waiting. It was a whole waiting game. And I have some pictures up around here because obviously you guys probably want to know how it looked like. It was so roomy and so clean. It even had a top area where you can actually store things. And I feel like that would, that's what I really liked yeah, because we nice. could put all of our car parts. And it wasn't big, don't get me wrong. It wasn't really big like other people that have shops, but it was a start. It was a start for us to do something big and actually go full set. After I didn't get a response for the application, I started to talk to my agent more and more, trying to get more details. She said that it was still going through. And after like a week of waiting, I gave her a call and told her, hey, what's going on? Like, we're really interested. We already filled out everything. We're ready to go. You know, obviously we have the money for it. And she ended up giving me a call back and letting me know that we weren't able to get it because the person that applied before us was actually using it just for storage. And keep in mind, they ask you what you're gonna be doing there because obviously the owner doesn't want you to be doing anything that's gonna be illegal, anything that they're not gonna like. They have the ultimate say of who gets the shop. So when they seen that a group of kids 
that have a business that's gonna be sending out orders, that's gonna be working on cars, is gonna be there making a little bit of noise and a ruckus versus someone that's just using it for storage and paying the same exact price, they're of course gonna pick them. They're I mean, still dirt bags though. They are dirt bags. Definitely dirt bags, but I mean, what, there's nothing really we can do, and there's nothing I could have argued, you know, to get the shop. After that, I kind of lost motivation to look for other ones because we were at it for a month, and at that point, that was kind of a time where we didn't upload for about like two or three weeks because we didn't spend a dime. We literally had all of our money from our paychecks. Yeah, we were saving up. Yeah, like okay, I rather not upload for a little bit and get the shop and just boom, start pumping out a bunch of videos for you guys, then you know just not have enough money to be able to afford the shop so after that that's when we're like okay you know we'll just wait till maybe next year and just keep continue growing the channel and that's why we ended up getting the mini lift the quick jack and a lot of you guys asked me where we got that we did get it at costco and it's around a thousand dollars moving forward from that topic i really enjoy talking to you guys after the video pretty much ends or the main portion of the video ends to give you guys pretty much a highlight on that note hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe and share and we'll see you guys on the next one